agents have been regarded as by some as a catalyst for world football, and some even say probably they're a cog in the wheel of progress. It depends on which side of the divide that you sit on. But you can one thing you cannot deny is they are an important part of the process from taking, identifying, polishing players and uh, providing a pipeline or a highway for them uh, to achieve their dreams. And we all know the global agents. Uh, the late, great uh, Mino Raiola, uh, this man here, uh, is also uh, that's, uh, the agent of uh, George Mendes, who's the agent of Cristiano Ronaldo, and many other people have made their names uh, sitting on some of the biggest transfers in the world. But some have also argued that some of these agents are basically uh, modern-day slave traders who are profiting from the hopes and dreams of young men. Well, with us in the studio uh, is a football agent of repute. Taiwo Kita joins us in the studio. He's a FIFA licensed agent as well. He's also played football at some point in his career. So uh, if he's looking like a footballer, that's because he was a <laughs> footballer. Uh, but he joins us now in the studio. Thank you very much, uh, Taiwo. Um, You're very welcome. Now, so a lot of people have asked this very important question. What exactly is the role of a football agent. Why do I need a football agent when I can get just get a lawyer? Thank you very much. Um, guys, thank you very much for having me here today. Yeah, it's a pleasure. It. Yeah. Um, so to be fair, I think the agent does a lot of things that a lawyer might not do. Um, it is fair. It's really nice to have lawyers on your side. Like I have, you know, more than two with me. But an agent, simply put, just basically discovers the talent. Um, it helps them get to the next level and negotiate their contracts hand in hand with the lawyer as well. And simply put, just looking for the best interest of the player, you know, that's really what the agent does. Mm. Well, there are those who say that, well, some of these agents, um, that um, they go beyond the remit of what it is that they are asked to do. So what exactly is the limit of what an agent can do and cannot do? To be fair, I mean, you see these days, there's a lot of clauses in the contracts, you know, like funny things like that. However, I'm not really sure there's a limit or there's no limit. For example, I'll use myself as an example. You know, me coming to Nigeria, I came here to scout talent. You know, not like any clubs really asked me to do that, but I do believe, obviously, if I'm there back in England, it's going to be very hard. And I was speaking to a player about this. For anyone to say, hey, look, Keaton, this is the next talent. You take him, you know? Mm -hmm. So I need to come here and find my own talent so that way no one can take him from me. And then I can do that trust myself. So there's really no limits or, you know, like barriers put on us. It's just basically what the player is allowing us to do. Because at the end of the day, we're representing the player. Okay. So that's well, the main thing. Sorry, Tao, you need to take yeah. a short break. Uh, when we return, we'll be continuing with this conversation. Yeah. Welcome back. You're still watching Game On here on New Central Television. We still have uh, Taiwo Keaton, who's a FIFA licensed football agent. And we'll be talking about the role of agents uh, in football. Now, Taiwo, uh, you were talking about exactly yeah. that there's no, really no limit to what uh, players, uh, players' agents can do uh, in, in respect of their, their charges. But yeah. how about those who, who argue that these agents are pretty much exploiting these young men and women? To be, to be uh, fair, I'll be honest with you, there is a lot of news on that and it's very sad and very disheartening but again what can you really do about this when most of these agents are coming to let's let's be honest the underdeveloped and developing countries like Nigeria Africa in general and they're promising these kids a hope of a better you know I'll better take tomorrow to I'll I'll take it to to Barcelona and, and unfortunately it is it now goes back to the whole genesis of the slave mentality it may they see a white person automatically they, they think mm. you know all well and good, better Jesus life. Christ, better life. And to be fair, that's why I liked what FIFA is doing, because they're making everything more credible. Like now there's a whole disciplinary like um, case on everything online. Like again, if I give you my ID, you can check me. I, I, don't, I can't fake it. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't pretend to be me. No one can come to you now and say they're an agent and there's no credibility. There's no line of things he or she has done. Mm -hmm. So everything has changed now. So you can just check my ID and you see who the person is. So I think that should stop, hopefully. So, but we never know. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, it's becoming a lot more competitive now. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and, and that's why agents need to move around because uh, clubs have agents who are paid on uh, the basis of what talents they bring. Mm -hmm. So is that, a, is that a challenge for, for you, I mean, to move around 
and you have come to Nigeria, are you yeah. touching Ghana, Togo, you know, other I, countries? I think that's, that's, a very, that's a very, very good point you made. It's basically like everyone is, you know, scrambling for like the scraps of the mm -hmm. talent. And as I said earlier on, like that's why I did come to Nigeria. Like I've been scouting beyond limits. I'm actually now I have a contract with them, which makes me like their official agent. So that's really so good. Beyond, that's limit. beyond limits. Yeah, beyond, beyond limits. limits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Academy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Academy. The, okay. the college show known as Academy. They're doing yeah. really amazing. Like that's Rebel Stars. Rebel yeah. Stars. Yeah. Um, yeah. Kudos yeah. to me at the Academy. They're doing very well. Trust me. Like everything they're doing is so professional. The other the other day I was there and they were teaching the students chess. How many academies in Nigeria mm -hmm. teaches their their academy players how to play Critical chess? Critical thinking. Critical attitude. thinking. Exactly. So yeah, you do have to go find mm. your own talent. And that's why sometimes being part of a big agency is good because I can be here talking about the benefits of an agent. My partners can be in Scotland, Sweden, doing their own thing and vice versa. Because let's be honest, no one can be in two places at you know, mm. one. Yeah. So you do need to kind of delegate those kind of opportunities. Yeah, mm. yeah. So, yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, so I, I think for me, let me just give a scenario. We spoke yeah. about this uh, a couple of weeks ago. So um, one of the stars from the VRG tournament, um, Obviously, Beyond Limits was also involved in that. Yeah, they won the tournament. Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we had Ojudu FC and we had Ikurudu FC as well being part of them. One right. of the stars from Ojudu FC, um, he got signed. Or rather, like, currently, yes, Hafiz Uma. Yeah. So he's currently having a loan spell with Chelsea. Trials. Or trials, trials rather. Yeah, trials, trials, um, yeah. Pardon me. And then before that, he had Ojudu FC and Bodo Glimt of Norway had an agreed deal, right? In my own opinion, I'm not a FIFA license agent, yeah. you are now, but I want to, your opinion on this. For me, I felt like he should have signed with um, Bodo Bodo Lint, because I feel like he would have had first team opportunity and yeah. going straight to the first team. Compared to um, the, the Chelsea, current Chelsea, Chelsea yeah. now, who for me, the academy right now is upside down. So yeah. it's not the same during the days mm -hmm. of the Rich James and Colin mm -hmm. Lada, who went through the eight grades yeah, like a development. and then yeah. got promoted to the system. So for you, when you have a player in that position, what kind of advice would you give to a player when you've got a small club you're going to play first-team football, but then there's the opportunity of get going to a big club and, and yeah. thinking far. So one of my really good mentors, um, Ladi Salami, who is Odion Igalo's agent, he always says this in this industry, and it's very cliche, but patience is a virtue. Hmm. So just by knowing that, I'm 100% going to go with the Bordeaux because I know if this guy can stay two years in this club, get first-team, his value is going to increase in the future. You know, look at it counterclockwise now. He goes to Chelsea, maybe he has one season, they might play him one time or loan him out. Loan him out. Mm -hmm. His career might literally keep going down from there. Mm -hmm. Him going to Chelsea might be the pinnacle. There's a lot of players that have done that and it didn't work for them. True. But again, you have to look at it from his own perspective. Mm -hmm. Coming from, you say it was from Kano. Kano yeah, yeah. Everyone there probably talks about Chelsea, Arsenal, mm -hmm. Manu, Man City. And, you can't the and the money as well. <laughs> so unfortunately, you need to have an agent that wants to work with you and understands your vision mm -hmm. and say, look, man, for the future, let's do it the right way. We are not just like a money-hungry agent. Mm -hmm. That's really the question. I, I want. How do you deal with all these players and their families who are basically thinking, oh, look, let's take the money now. This big club is not really in money now. And, and they're not really looking at what you're looking at, yeah. that looking, charting a proper pathway for this player from nothing to stardom. How, yeah. how do you deal with that? I think that's where trust in the agent comes in. I think that's where having a really good relationship with their parents and telling them or sh and showing them case studies and examples of other players that might have done that in the past and mm. seeing if it worked out or didn't work out. Um, I'll be honest with you, the, the agency industry is so, it's, it's like a, um, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Mm. Everyone is like just... <laughs> Everybody's it's, grabbing it's, something. It's, yeah. I don't know if I can, it's crazy. I don't know if mm. I can say it online, mm. but yeah, yeah it's, it's crazy. Literally, like you find agents, come, it's so funny, like one of my, uh, my good friends, Dean Lockwood, so he's a stakeholder at Manchester United because um, his, his um, daughter plays for Manchester United, mm. basically. And he was saying, like, when she was, like, 12, he had, like, two agents in his house, like, literally already t telling him hmm. that they want to be his daughter's agent. A 12-year-old girl, what mm -hmm. are you doing in my house telling me you want to be my daughter's agent? So where, where do you, where, how do you even manage to negotiate or, or even, do I say, navigate through those uh, situations where you have a big club that's promising the family, that, look, we're going to build you a house, hmm. we're going to buy you a car, we're going to move you to England, basically turn the player's heads. Yeah. How, how do you manage to even, do you just... Hands up and just, well, hey, I've done the best I can. Yeah. Or do you stay and fight? To be fair, you can only do as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest, you know, as much as we want to be like good examples and things, sometimes money does have a very big factor because mm -hmm. you don't know how much the, the parents have invested in that mm -hmm. player. You know, especially if I'm talking to like younger players and I have to go to their parents, I 100% make it a factor 
for me to literally understand where their parents are coming from. Because you're just coming when the player is 18 years old True. or 17 or 18, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. These guys have been in his life for 17, 18 yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They've invested more than you can ever invest. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very patient with them and understand and just be honest with them. Like, look, this money is a lot. But, mm. you know, here we so, go. Sorry, okay. I, know, I know there's so much you want to unpack, yeah, but we're yeah, really yeah. much running out of time. So I basically have four minutes. Just that's fine, But thank fine. you so much for coming through Ty, yeah. Ty Wookie, to my FIFA license agent, speaking thank about uh, the role uh, of a, a, an agent and exactly in the football pipeline or the football pathway uh, to greatness. Let's...